Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today I am barefaced because I am trying the new foundation and concealer from Madage Beauty. I have already primed my face with the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I went for this one because I found this to be really reliable under all foundations. So I wanted to uh, make sure that it had its best shot. So this here is the foundation. I have it in the shade Medium Light Porcelain. And let's have a read of the claims. It says, oil-free HD liquid foundation, provides medium to full coverage with a natural finish, long wearing, hydrating, which hides the fine lines and pores to ensure a smooth finish. This unique formula is both blendable and buildable, leaving a natural vibrancy on the skin. Enriched with moisturising agents, doesn't crease or flake and lasts all day long. Invisible on screen and in real life. Camera ready, HD liquid foundation, paraben free, suitable for all skin types. Sounds pretty amazing. Right, so I've given it a shake. It's got a uh, nice pump there. So I'm just going to, come on. So I'm just going to do that pump and a half first. Looks like a pretty decent color match. So let's see. Oh, whilst it is, it seems quite a thick consistency when you pump it out, it, it's like it kind of melts to a very lightweight kind of creamy consistency. No, I'd definitely say this is going to be a hydrating one just uh, and just by first impressions. Yeah, it's definitely a very good colour match. So, James, thank you so much for helping me pick a shade. Because this one seems to match me pretty perfectly. I think Madage Beauty is a new UK indie brand. Um, all the products are designed in the UK and made in Canada. This video is not sponsored in any way and I did purchase these items myself before I continue because obviously I do have some products that came to me in PR from Madage Beauty. These were not in PR. These I purchased myself. I'm always on the hunt for good base products from indie brands and so far this is looking exactly as it says undetectable it's not clung to anything looking good looking good yeah see looking at this up close it looks like skin so we are going to test out the full coverage so I'm just going to add another one pump so another pump on and let's see what she can do this is such a lightweight foundation just straight off the bat very lightweight it just feels like I'm spreading moisturizer all over my face which I am not mad at. Especially where, as of recently, I've had quite a lot of dry skin, which uh, is a new one to me because I've never, ever had dry skin. My skin has always been so oily. So I am guessing this is an age thing. 
The joys of getting old. Don't you just love it? <laughs> well, it is definitely building up on itself really nice. It's like it's completely melting into the skin. Yeah, this, this is looking really nice. Let me see if I can get up close so you can see. It's looking really skin-like. Hmm. We are off into a very good start. Yeah, it definitely does build nicely on top of itself. It is not looking cakey anywhere. I can imagine this would go on beautifully with a sponge so I think next time I put this on I'm definitely going to try with a, a beauty sponge also beauty sponge beauty blender whatever they're called okay so first impressions after literally just putting it on it's very hydrating um, but it doesn't look greasy or oily it just looks like skin it looks like I've moisturised my skin and uh, it's just improved. <laughs> um, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know if it would dry down. Um, I will be powdering it um, to see how it powders down. Um, but it feels really nice. Hmm. Okay. So... So yeah, just from putting it on so far, let's have a look at these cleaners again. Right, oil free. Yes, I would definitely say it is oil free. <laughs> Liquid foundation provides medium to full coverage with a natural finish. Yep, it's covered everything I want it to cover. Built on itself nicely. Natural finish, yes. Long wearing, I have to test that one out. Hydrating, yes, that is definitely a yes. Um, blendable and buildable yes I have to agree with that uh, leaving a natural vibrancy on the skin yes my skin doesn't look flat at all uh, it's not flat or dull looking uh, doo -doo -doo. enriched with moisturizing agent agents Enriched with moisturising agents, doesn't crease or flake and last all day long. Again, I'm going to have to test that one out. Um, invisible on screen and in real life. Well, I would say it looks invisible. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, invisible on screen and in real life, camera ready HD, paraben free, suitable for all skin types. Well, I only have my skin type, so I cannot vouch for all skin types. Um, but all the claims that I can test out straight away, I would say yes, completely. Obviously, I don't know if it's long wearing because I've only just put it on. So we shall see. Okay, so the concealer I have, um, I also have in medium light porcelain. And this is a full coverage concealer. There doesn't appear to be any other claims on there. So let's have a look. To be fair, there's not really much to, much left to conceal. So we will do in here just to brighten up. Kind of, kind of. Let's see what she does under the eyes. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay. Well, the same as the foundation, this looks like it just disappears. But takes the imperfections along with it Ooh. Ooh. well 
if this lasts well throughout the day, this could definitely be a new favourite. Because it's not thick and gloopy. It's just really... It's of a very similar consistency to the foundation. And usually I find that the uh, thinner consistency concealers don't cover anything. But this appears to be. Right, so under the eyes, let's have a see what you do. And again, it's just disappearing. Wow. It doesn't feel dry, I'm not dragging it, I'm literally just kind of pushing it into the skin and it's uh, it's disappearing. Uh, just go around the nose area with a smaller brush. Now I think both the foundation and concealer would uh, work really well with a sponge also, possibly even better okay so so far I'm impressed so far I am impressed I'm going to powder it down so we'll have a, a see so we'll just quickly see how it powders down I'm just using my Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder uh, let's quickly make sure under this okay and just the tiniest bit of powder when you have old skin you do not want to be over powdering because all it does is emphasize it wow okay Looking good. Right, let's take a big floofy brush and so I know a lot of people like to sweep, but I find that with my older skin, like pressing the powder on works better. But obviously, go with what works for you. Right, okay, so powdered down. And this is powdered down. I would say yes, it still looks like skin. This is very, very skin like. If I didn't know, I'd just put foundation and concealer on. I would think I'd woken up with better skin. So yeah, I'm liking that. So I'm going to nip off and finish my face. Um, I am filming another video. I have some goodies from Island Play. as a UK indie brand. So I'm going to head off, film that video, and then I will be back. So don't go anywhere. So I'm back with the rest of my makeup on and just having a look, I would say it's been on for about an hour or so now and it is still looking very skin-like. Everything applied beautifully on top of it. I've got no, there's no caking anywhere. If I'm going to cake anywhere, it's usually around my nose and my mouth and there is none. So yeah, just all that's left is to see how it wears throughout the day. But first impressions on the application and how it looks and after about an hour um really impressed really impressed it felt like i was applying a moisturizer it was so hydrating so it felt as though i was applying like a bb cream only with the coverage of a foundation it built up lovely on itself yeah so far i'm a huge fan and the concealer, again, was just this really hydrating, lightweight consistency that still covered. So yeah, my first impressions, I'm really impressed, really impressed. 
and I'm looking forward to seeing how it wears throughout the day. So the video for this look uh, will be going up in the next couple of days trying a new to me UK indie brand so yeah you should be seeing that in the next day or two I do have a discount code with Madage Beauty it's not affiliated in any way it just saves you some money and it is just Steph 10 um, I will you will find it in my list of discount codes at the bottom of the description box so yeah if you're considering picking anything up there is the discount code there so I do have some products from their new Desert Dreams collection on their way to me so you will be seeing a video trying out those products very soon and in that video I will give you an update on how I'm getting on with the foundation and concealer so yeah keep your eyes peeled for that video so yeah if you have liked this video please give it a like thumbs up it really helps me out and if you're new around here, then I hope you'll consider sticking around. I do mostly colourful looks. I am a lover of all things makeup and a huge supporter of indie brands. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.